coming up next on the Discovering History Channel. I'm James Talker. I'm a forensic scientist with a minor in social work, and I love a good mystery. Do you? There were people here long before, and it's my job to find out who they were, what they were doing, why they were here, stuff. There are inscriptions on stones that date back to before Christ, written in Hebrew. There's temples, religious artifacts. Where did they all come from? Some say it could have been the lost tribes of Israel. Some say it might have been Jews who escaped Jerusalem around 600 BC from persecution. My objective is to find the truth about some of the secrets that America has earthed, so I will then unearth them. I'm James Talker with America Revealed. Bad Creek Stone. Wow. The Bat Creek Stone as I live and breathe. Look at that. That's... Now, I'm no Hebrew master, but it looks like it says something. It's almost like an Anglo-Greek Limcrafters. Limcrafters. Lenscrafters. Lens That's my glasses case. Predates Columbus. This is uh, 100, this is... 100 BC. Very rarely seen here in the US. Yeah. Yeah, that sucker's old right there. Indeed. That's what that is. Old. And what does very it old. say? Have you translated it yet? Uh, well, what we have here are the words for the Judeans. Uh huh. But have you translated it for us? The question then becomes, who brought this relic to America? Who came upon our loamy shores bringing rocks with them <clears throat> with Hebrew writing on them? Yes, um, there is one possible explanation which yeah. comes from the Mormons. They claim that the Book of Scripture, actually the Book of Mormon, was written by uh, people who lived here long ago who were practicing Jews. Well, and they escaped Jerusalem be, to uh, escape yeah. persecution there around 600 BC. Yeah, that's certainly so a possible So that could definitely solution. be um, sure. yeah. one of the solutions uh, mm -hmm. they would have had writing, maybe a reformed... What you're saying makes perfect of, sense um, to me. Hang on. Yeah, I don't buy it. Uh, no, but actually, this is a probable well, I, explanation I doubt it. because... The it, fact is, is we've been told by people that are much smarter than you and I, let's face it. The two of us together are just a pair of doctors. These guys are network executives. Decalogue Stone. I'm here at the Ohio Mounds Museum to see the Decalogue Stone, which was found not far from here. I'm here with Master Curator Melanie, whose last name will remain... What's your last name? Melanie, what can you tell me about the Decalogue Stone? Uh, the Decalogue Stone <clears throat> was found in 1860 in a burial mound mm -hmm. inside a stone box. There is a man depicted in the middle who is seemingly wearing a robe. It appears to be some sort of religious ritual. The reason we think that this might be religious is that this could be Moses. Wow. Did you all get that? Moses, that's amazing. Now that's a mystery we didn't expect to unearth or discover. Why do you think it's Moses? Well, the reason we think it's Moses is that there is this block Hebrew writing on the outside. I've seen this somewhere before. We have had this translated, and it actually turns out to be the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments? You mean the ones that came from Mount Tabor? And Sinai. The burning of the leaves. Right. I'm amazed right now because right here in the heartland of the United States, right here on this, the American continent, I'm flummoxed. No matter how many questions I ask of the right people and some of the wrong ones, I just can't seem to find the answers. Well, you know, I've been doing some research. I've been reading about these people, and they're the LDS people that practice the Ten Commandments. You know, the, the Mormons, basically. You've heard of them? Mormons, well, the Mormons right, believe yeah. that the Ten Commandments came yeah, 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 directly yeah, yeah, from yeah, God. Etc., etc., etc. A lot of academic chit-chat. Very good. Okay. We're not supposed to talk about the Mormons oh. on this. But we're here to unearth the truth. Mounds. 
Well, Carl, thanks again for agreeing to meet me here. I know this is a little out of your way. This is where I work. We are here because of your interest in mounds. Uh, obviously, the mounds that are here in America, many Americans don't even know exist. Now, some of these mounds, you can tell me that there are mysteries hidden beneath some of these things that a lot of Americans would never have known had they not been unearthed. Well, actually, I have a map here. This is an overview. Wow. wow. This is from the 1823 Army Corps of Engineers. I didn't even know we had Army in 1823. And this is a, this is a photocopy here from the original map. If we See, and I had no idea they had photocopiers in the 1800s. Whammo! If you look at this here, what does that look like to you? Now, I'm no geneticist, but I dated one once. Clearly biological in nature. Looks like some, uh, some sort of cartilage, some sort of ribbing. May have been an early whale or possibly a very large elk. Now, I mean, to me here, you got, this is like nine candles. Well, there's that too. There's that too. I wasn't looking Which at that. Is, it looks like a menorah. Like, uh, like, uh, like Liberace once yeah, or, used. Or the Jews. Attached to the bottom here, that clearly looks like a oil lamp. It dates back just prior to the time of Christ. Oh, uh, and that would be uh, B.C. So, so who would have brought these things here? Who could have possibly left this stuff here? I mean, what people were there? <laughs> hey, maybe we could ask these guys over here. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> can't. No, we can't talk to them. Well, then, James, there's clearly no other explanation other than aliens. Time-traveling aliens. Otherwise, how could they have known about Liberace, right? If... I'm James Talker with America Revealed.